If you look at the hadith, there is a hadith, the Prophet says on the day of Qiyamah, there will come a person who is bankrupt. In fact, he asked a question, Atadruna manil muflis, do you know who is a bankrupt person? So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum said, well, according to us, he's a person who doesn't have dirham and dina. That's a bankrupt person who doesn't have gold and silver in our terms, perhaps dollars and pounds. We can't say the rand anymore because you know. <laughs> and thereafter, <laughs> but it's a fact. So someone who doesn't have all that, that's who's bankrupt. So Rasulullah says, no, it is a person who comes on the day of judgment with a lot of salah, with a lot of zakah, with a lot of acts of worship. You know, if I heard that, I would think I'm hearing wrong. A bankrupt person is one who comes on the day of Qiyamah, the day of judgment, with a lot of prayer, a lot of worship, a lot of acts of charity, a lot. How can that person be bankrupt? So he continues, he says, and then, when they're standing in front of Allah with all these deeds of theirs, they have backbitten this one, gossiped about that one, they have slandered this one, eaten the wealth of the other, deceived another, and they have harmed another and so on. So Allah takes away one by one these good deeds as a payment. Because on that day, the currency will be deeds. I need to pay back. So the deeds are going. So the salah in the first saf, gone. The zakah, gone. The hajj, gone. The fasting, gone. All the good deeds, gone. What happened thereafter? There are still so many people waiting for their rights. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says there will come a time when that man has nothing remaining and the people in front still want their right. And Allah says, okay, take your sins and put it on his shoulder. So the sins come, they are taken out and they're put on the shoulder of this individual. But he was the one who used to read Salah in the first saf. He was the charitable one. He was the holy, pious one according to the whole world. But because he usurped the rights of fellow human beings and he disregarded them completely. Here he is paying. When he came, he came with a lot. And as he is progressing on that day, in fact, there's no progress being made. He's going back because he's lost everything. And on top of that, he's got sins committed by other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So this is a clean hadith that explains the importance of fulfilling the rights of fellow human beings. Absolutely. We need to make sure we are humble. And remember, it doesn't...